Yo, 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 what's going on? It's your boy Jay Mitch. I actually made this video earlier, but I looked at the camera and I wasn't feeling the angle, so I figured I had to do it again. But I wanted to bring to y'all the unboxing, the unveiling of my 5T 2.0 brushless conversion. If you don't remember, I, I had a Losi 5T 2.0 about two or three years ago. Um, and I sold it. I'm gonna insert a picture of it right here for y'all to reference. Um, I sold it at 12S build, and um, yeah, I kind of seen a lot of people doing they, they low C5 T's, you know. And I said, you know what, let me get back on the 5 T gang, but I'm gonna do it a little differently. Y'all gonna see. You guys have been on Facebook. You guys probably saw this 5T listed a couple weeks ago uh, by a guy named uh, David Allman. Um, based out of Hawaii um, I locked down the deal with him man. I was just trying to get the roller but he had a couple people who wanted the Lex but kind of got flaky but they didn't want it so you know what I said yo give me the whole thing patch it, package it up let's make a deal I got a great deal on the car so I definitely want to shout him out first um, so I want to take y'all through the car and show y'all what's all included and what I got um, so this is the car 5T very nice it's 5T 2.0 has the light bar on the outside of it you see that all all they're really nice clean you can look at this body's really no really no blemishes the only things i see if you look back here and you can see there's a couple scratches but otherwise i mean this car has not been abused at all very very nice car i'm gonna take the lid off for y'all let y'all see what's going on underneath there take the lid off down. All right, so what do we have underneath the car? First thing I'm seeing, we have upgraded low C chassis braces, aluminum chassis braces. Very, very nice chassis braces. We see in the light bar up the front. Looks like this. These wires came. You know, they might have ripped upon shipping, but I'll see if I can get those fixed. I'll hit up my boy Ted, see if he can hook me up. Um, also, you can see we have the top chassis plate there on the car. See, we have the upgraded uh, aluminum hubs on the car all the way around. And then you also see we have the upgraded aluminum hubs in the rear. It's pretty, pretty damn cool. Um, another thing that you can see is we are running the TLR, the venerable TLR brushless conversion kit. Very, very nice. This was all included in the car really 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 great deal so i definitely gotta shop this guy out man it's really great deal. i'm happy with it um it, it's really been good the car also came with this setup what you're looking at is um a max 5 with a hobby wing 800 kv combo included with the castle fans um that that's really really dope also what you can see is we have a three servo setup these are the stock low C servos, and you know these bad boys are coming off, right? I'll just let y'all know that now. I kind of got some things going on. I'm going to run the car like this, but when it's in its final form, trust me, you will be amazed of what I'm going to do to this car. I'm really excited about what I'm going to do. Um, it's going to really, really be something. It's be something. going to be something to marvel, for sure. Um, um, it's also running a brake servo. So you have mechanical brake functionality. Uh, the way that it's looking, there's probably a receiver in here. I think there may be a Futaba receiver in the car. So that's cool. So yeah, that's the car in a nutshell. Um, the car also included some spares. So I'll show you guys. Um, hey, it came with the manual, came nicely packaged. Great job on the packaging and shipping. Really, 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 I was really happy with everything that came with this car, man. The way this guy shipped this car to me, it was great. Also, he included the TLR conversion kit box with the car. And also, here's some more things that were included. You can see we have some diff internals included, uh, some rod ins, some, some, some rod ins, um, another set of diff internals. Um, 
We have a couple axle boots here that I definitely can use on my 5T and my 5B. Also looks like, um, oh, we got some full force RC upgrades on this car too. I'll, I'll show you that too. And here are the stock takeoffs from the car. So this is stock chassis brace um, and the stock hexes. And here's the stock spur gear. When you buy the 5T conversion kit, it comes with a 58 tooth um, spur gear. So this is the stock spur gear that came off the differential that the other car, you know, that was replaced. Um, and yeah, here's, the, here's just all the stock takeoffs of the car. That's pretty cool. So yeah, you see the full force RC stickers um, because there's a uh, full force RC uh, chassis protectors on the bottom of the car as well. So I would say this was a really, really great transaction. I'm really happy with the car. So before we get to the RC Max upgrades, let's talk about my Team Vitavon upgrades. Team Vitavon front and rear diff housings for the 2.0. So definitely got to shout out Danny Lou, uh, who, who, who does things with Team Vitavon. I know if he's an official partner of Team Vitavon, but if you know D's creation, that's Danny Lou. He is a personal friend of mine. Uh, I did not get these for free, but I got a great price on them. So shout out to Danny. Thank you so much. Uh, Danny, always, if you're doing something cool with your five stuff, reach out to Danny. They are, they have a lot of new things coming uh, for their five, um, the five platform and also the DBXL platform. So check with Team Vitabine for your upgrades um, if you're interested in those. So definitely want to shout out Danny. Thank you so much, sir, for hooking your boy up as always. So this is a Team Vitabine up upgrades for y'all. Just want y'all want y'all to see the quality of them. Very, very nice. Very nice. So that's gonna go, that's gonna be living on this car. Um, the next things that we have go through the box here. Uh, these are like some kind of diff uh, housings or something from RC Max. Um, going through the RC Max upgrades I have. And it looks like we have some wheel washers for the wheels that I bought for RC, from RC Max. RC Max was putting on a, a massive sale. They're doing a rebrand sale. Uh, pretty much everything that was RC Max branded for the fives and the Vecta, uh, they're on sale for 20% off on their website. So I took advantage of that and bought some some uh, some some stuff from them. All right, so I'm trying to show you the, the focus on the car um, and just pull out these upgrades one by one. All right, so the next thing that you see is I have upgraded to the RC Max um, top plate. I don't know if I want to use this because the top plate on the 5T is already upgraded, but who knows? I, I might just throw this on or I'll sell it with the car when I, when I sell all the remnants from the car. All right, the next thing that you'll see is the RC Max chassis. Now, I'm not going to open this yet because I'm clumsy and um, I don't want to scratch this up more than it needs to be. But this is the low C 5T chassis from RC Max. Great sell on it. I had to get it. So I want to show y'all that. And the next thing from RC Max that I got were these wheels. I'm not sure if it's going to go on the final build of this car or while I run it on, you know, something else. Um, but yeah, I had to get the wheels. The wheels were on sale too. So I had to pick those up. Y'all know how your boy does, man. I, I, once you go in, um, I had to do that. So, yeah. Um, I mean, I think that's it. I don't think there's anything else for me to show you guys, man. I just wanted to show y'all everything I got in the mail. I think the other thing I didn't mention was on this chassis, on this car, this car also came with the Auto Wears um, cover for the inside to try to keep the dirt and stuff outside of the chassis so that's also included in this car you guys know this upgrade probably costs about 70 bucks just by itself so i really got a great deal on this car and um just stay tuned the next time you'll see this car i'll be running it in this stock form i gotta run it at least once with these electronics to make sure everything is works oh so now that i showed you all the car i want to give everybody shouts out who's making this deal possible so number one i gotta shout out the homie dave allman for making the deal happen, to make this deal happen. You didn't have to do it. You probably had over $2,500 in this car and the price we got down to for this deal was really good and the shipping included. We, I'm really happy with everything that happened here. So I wanna say thank you. 
Um, also, I want to say thank you to Danny and Arthur at Team Vitavon for these beautiful diff housings that I'm going to be using on my build. Wait till you guys see this build. It's going to be something. Um, it's going to be. It's going to be something special. It's going to be something special. Uh, so I want to say thanks to both of those guys. Um, I also want to say thank you to RC Max for getting these things shipped out really quick. Like I said, I literally saw shipped yesterday and got here today. So DHL gets this gets stuff done overseas in 24 hours. Crazy. So I want to say thanks to the guys at RC Max. As always, as always, I want to shout out my homie Dave Hubbard. As always, I want to shout out my homie Big Willie. As always, definitely major shout out to the homie Ted. Always shouting out the homie Ted. Major shout out to Adam at RC Discount. Shout out to Will and, and the folks over at Tiny RC Adventure. And just shout out to everybody who supports your boys channel, man. You guys know who you are. Thank you for my day one supporters. Thank you for everybody, for the new guys, the old guys, for the people who just come in here and say you hate once in a while. That's fine, whatever, you know. But this is going to be a crazy build, and I look forward to the next couple of videos I'm going to make with this car. So, all right, I'm going to go ahead and end it. Y'all be good now, Pete.